All right, welcome to the third video. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to save images and the location to the iCloud. If you remember what we've done before, if you just run it, run your app, hopefully you get it to work. As we're waiting. So what we did, we were able to store some information on the cloud. So you just type in any value you want here. <clears throat> anything for testing and then you click on save and it saves it to the cloud now what I want to do is that I want to be able to for example pinpoint a location pinpoint a location here for example and then I'll get the coordinate and this is my location that want to be saved the first part we will save save it to the cloud there is an image here now I'll show you how we save the image here too alright so let's go ahead and get started so open the project that you were uh, working with before and let's take a look at the view controller. In the view controller we have two, almost three, function, three functions. One of them is called save, find and there is one called add pin. Those are the ones that are interested in right now. We look at the save. We were able to save the record by creating a record setting the objects those are the fields that in the that are defined in the schema execute the save record and I have a completion block and check if it's an error we display the error otherwise we display a hooray message and then we can to make it to show you that it is working I have an activity indicator that starts animating before we execute the command and stop animating when it's done alright so let's take a look at the dashboard again so if you look at the dashboard open the dashboard if I can find it and I had an application called cloud kit video 2 this is the one that we're working with in there we have a schema and here we're waiting sorry guys all right, so we have in here in the default zone, we have that record that we saved earlier. All right. Now we have two other fields. One of them is the location, store location, and this is CLL location class, and then the image. So we're going to work with the CLL location, and the name of this object is store location. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have this function that is called add pin. If we visit it again, this is I've done earlier, all right. So we have a location, uh, we, we get the location in the map, and then we convert that location to CLL coordinate 2D, right? Now we want to take this coordinate and create a CLL location, and then in turn take that location and save it, save it in the database. So to do this, I'm going to define a variable called var, and call that position, and the type of this CLL location. And so I don't have to create an initializer. I make that optional variable. Okay. Then we go to the uh, save location, uh, the add pinpoint, and right after these two code, you don't need the rest of this. I mean, you you can if you want to. This is just this code just adds it to the map. Okay. So what we want to do is that we will do location position dot sorry equal CLL location and then we pass to it those two coordinates that we created earlier which is latitude and longitude so I'm gonna say lat here and comma longitude okay that's it if you hit command B it should work maybe not uh, we need to put the actual keywords okay <laughs> alright so now if you hit command B it should work now the next step is to actually set the object and remember here we did the store name and store description so all we need to do right now is say store store I'll just copy that so we don't have to type it so you can do command copy command V what are we setting here we're setting the from the instead of the text we want to put actually the position that we just created earlier position and 
here you will put store I think it was location let make sure make sure of that you just go to the dashboard and make sure make sure of that store location so that's fine okay and that's it as simple as that we get the location from the from the map and then we set the object just like any other object and when you do the save it would save the location with it now I've done it with the map just to show you how it's done with the map now you could do this with the like for example if you're using location manager and then you want to get the current location you could do that or you want to get the user location from the map you can do the same thing to store the current position okay so either way you can do it with the map to get the current user location or you can get uh, use the um, use the uh, location uh, manager in the core location class and, and as I showed you in the previous video to store that location all right now let's test it and see what happens as we're waiting okay here it is so now I'm gonna type in anything for the store Alibaba <laughs> that's his original okay and then we go and then just type in the description whatever now if you could zoom in for of course but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna click on that and it gave me the location here and now if I click on save those coordinates should be saved in that position in that field and just to make sure it work here we got hooray it worked so if I go back to the uh, if we go back to the dashboard and refresh this you should see another record oops if we refresh this page we see another record in here two records and stores okay I'm sorry we got the default zones and here's Alibaba and that is the location all right that's so it works what I'm going to do actually I'm gonna make another video because uh, I think we'll keep it short we'll make another video to do the uh, uh, the images okay because the image require a little bit of work all right so I'm gonna stop this and I'll create another video